subscribe for daily boxing videos, guys. So, Special K is back. Special K knocks out and stops Sergey uh, Wichabenko, I believe. I can't pronounce this guy's last name. But uh, it was his long way to come back since his defeat to Errol Spence Jr. He's been out of the ring for almost a year now, about 10 months. But uh, he actually, to me, looked like the typical Kell Brook. He looked sharp. He was. I thought he defeated easily, won the first round. And in the second round, uh, he caught Re uh, Sergey with like a glancing punch that... It was like an equilibrium punch that uh, had him on Queer Street. And uh, to me, this Rebenko guy showed that he really had no heart. Because when he got down, he took his time to get up. That told me that he really didn't want to be there. Uh, so this is officially the return of Kell Brook. He's now fighting. This was his first fight at 154. Um, uh, so if he's serious about becoming a champion at 154, he's going to have to face... Guys like the winner of Jared Heard versus Eric Sandy Laura. He's going to have to face guys like Jamel Charlo. These guys are not easy fights. I've been saying for a long time that I believe both of these guys beat Kell Brook. Kell Brook was a big welterweight, but he's a small, light middleweight. Um, I would pick, although I think Jared Heard is not as skilled as Kell Brook, I would actually pick him to beat Kell Brook because... The way to beat Kale Brook is to put pressure on him. Jared Hurd is about six feet tall, but he looks about six three. He's a giant. If he beats Arisandi Laura and Kale Brook fights him, he's gonna have a guy. If you look at Jared Hurd, Jared Hurd is a guy who fights very aggressive, nonstop, and who has a tremendous chin. He'll be able to take everything that Kale Brook has to offer, and he'll walk Kale Brook down. And I'll definitely also pick Jamel Charles to beat Kale Brook. I think what Kell Brook should just do, because I've been seeing him talk about retirement. He wants to retire, maybe. So, I think what he should do is, uh, again, unless, because I just I just remembered, um, Saddam Ali fights at 154. Saddam Ali used to be a welterweight, so I think he, Saddam Ali would be the smartest choice, rather than Jerry Hurd or uh, Jamal Charlo for, I think that's the reasonable you know, way to go, rather than going after, like I said, the Charlos or um, Jared Hurd, because th these guys are just too big, in my opinion, for Kell Brook, but someone like Saddam Ali, who was a former welterweight himself, and they're the same height, they're about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, that's a good, uh, in my opinion, if he wants to win a belt at 154, I think he should go that route, but like I said, if he wants to be a champion at 154, but like I said, he also has the option of Amir Khan, now that Amir Khan signed with Eddie Hearn Matchroom Promotions, the fight... It's not going to be a hassle to make the fight, right? Unless Amir Khan, you know, bitches out of the fight again. But yeah, it was a very one-sided fight. You know, the fight only lasted two rounds. There was, there's really nothing to say there. I thought Kell Brook was throwing his jab, typical Kell Brook. Throwing little hooks. He threw an uppercut uh, that snapped Sergey's uh, head back. Uh, so yeah, Kell Brook is back. And yeah, hopefully... He doesn't break his eye socket again because I think if he breaks his eye socket again or he ruptures it again, his career is indefinitely over. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of the fight. Uh, it was a very short fight. There's nothing really else to say about it. It was just a very, like I said, the fight lasted like five minutes. Uh, the only thing that I think this proves to, about Sergey is that he had no heart because he, he, he took his time to get up. You know, some people might say, well, it was, it was because it was an equilibrium shot. Yeah, maybe, but... Again, this really doesn't prove anything because Kell Brook has to fight a guy who is a legit contender. I don't rate Sergey. I just don't. So, uh, yeah, like, see, again, like I said, I think he, if he wants to be a champion at 154, the reason to go is Saddam Ali because he's the same height and he's a former welterweight like himself. I think it's very dangerous for him to fight uh, Charles or even Jerry Hurd unless he wants to lose again and definitely get his eye ruptured again because those guys are going ham in his eyes. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Uh, subscribe for daily boxing for you guys in the mouth. Thanks for watching.